Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Yeah, this is happening today. <laughs> My daughter doesn't have school today. I'm so excited. And it is super early. I am in my office. Freezing. It's freezing. It's actually snowing this morning. Which doesn't make any sense because supposedly it's going to be 60 degrees. Like the rest of the week. You know, warm up all weekend and I'm like, why is it snowing now? But it'd be warm today. Um, the only thing I have today is a haircut at 4.15. So got a whole day of painting. And I have one more coat. Although the inside's looking good. I didn't look at it. The, the door maybe needs a coat, quick coat. That looks pretty good. So then let's see. The drawer needs another coat. And then the shelf needs another coat. Gosh, you won't even be able to see that repair. Just like it never happened. Oh, look at me. See? Like it never happened. Ah, it still makes me so happy. And then once that's dry, it's time to distress. Um, well, that should go fairly quickly. And then hopefully, here, I can get this to my client. She'll be happy to have it, I'm sure. But I'm going to be even more happy to get this out of here. Because I can't Christmas craft until it's gone. And I'm like, I'm so far behind. So far behind. I'm going to show you guys how to make some things. We're going to do some stuff. And it's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. After yesterday... We earned it. <laughs> After this whole week, we've earned it. Um, what? No drama. No drama. We're having no drama. And we're going to get this cabinet done. And we're going to distress laminate, which has never been done, right? Like, we're going to make it look old and woody. I want to see the other side of this cabinet. As long as I got to roll one more here. Just to be sure that it doesn't need any more paint. So I'm going to get sorted, get situated, and then uh, come back to you guys. And I guess what I meant by getting myself sorted out was put a coat of paint in everything. <laughs> I started again, like, open stuff up and I just painted. So there's a coat of paint on the side of this, the inside of the drawer, the shelf back here. Bearing. Flip that over and get one more coat on the other side. Took some dog hair off the inside of this one. I love her, but I gotta stop cuddling her. I gotta stop cuddling her before I paint. It's all over me. And I did this morning. I did the, you know, she put her head on my chest and then, oh, <laughs> love my Margot, but she just, you know, there's hair everywhere, everywhere. Um, so we're drying. We are now officially waiting again. That's my favorite part of painting. It's like going to go do dishes or something. I need to get some press and seal put around my roller and my brush so they don't get sticky. I'm going to go do that. Glad press and seal. Amazing for that purpose. Amazing. Also, it makes a handy bib and I'm not joking. <laughs> I know this looks like I'm joking, but, um, you know, when you're getting ready to go somewhere and you put your makeup on, then you put your clothes on, the makeup gets on your clothes, put your clothes on. Then put your makeup on and it won't 
it won't drip like, you know, powders and stuff all over your clothes. Also for eating before you're going out. So like you want to go out, but you want to get some food in your belly before you go to somebody's house that you know can't cook. No, just me. Oh yeah, right. Just me. Uh, and then you're going to eat something, but you don't want to get it on your clothes. I don't actually use press and seal for what it's meant to be used for because I don't think it works that great on my bowls and stuff, but I put it around my rollers and then I, I press it to itself. And it keeps my roller from getting sticky, right? Works with brushes too. So I'm gonna put the brush on the other side here. Come on, you just sort of roll that in on itself. It works for days. Like I did this and then forgot about my brushes, which I have ADHD, it happens. Like I will forget to clean a brush, but it was wrapped in my press and seal. And I came back like three days later it was perfect. Love the press and seal. But trust me, it makes a great bib. And then I, whenever we have to get ready for Christmas or whatever like that, because every time, every time you put your makeup on, you put foundation on and stuff like that, and then you have to put the thing over your head. And then it gets all over the collar and you're like, damn it. Oh my God, if this is what I was going to wear today, la, 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 and it's trauma. It's a trauma. Now I get dressed and then I cover up with the press and seal. And then I put all the makeup on and rip it off. Off I go. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go. It works. Handy little tip for me. I'm not a beauty guru, but I should be. <laughs> Like the gurus need to listen to that, right? Cause they're all, oh, I watch them and then little TikToky things and they're putting all this powder on the powder is going everywhere, right? And I'm like, where's your press and seal? I learned that a few years ago. Just tuck it. You can tuck it if you're doing the, the neck contour and a whole nine yard, right? Clean. Stick with me, kid. I'll get you there because <laughs> I'm lazy and I don't like to rewash things and I don't have four outfits I can change into. I got one. If it gets dirty, I'm hosed. So like I got one outfit. I don't like, I'm not a clothes girl. Like this is me. I'm full of paint. I'm casual. I'm relaxed. Even my dress clothes are kind of casual. They're very comfortable actually. But um, I don't want to change four times, and I don't have backup outfits. I have one for Christmas, I have one for Thanksgiving, right? Like, it's got to stay clean. That's what I do. There, I gave you a tip today. While well, we're waiting for stuff to dry. Ooh, what do I do while I wait for stuff to dry? I'll take food out of the freezer for dinner. I don't know, pork chops? I'll figure it out. The lid on. Doesn't have to be solid, just press it down. But I could use press and seal on that too. I'm sure it would work great. And now we're just waiting. Let dry. I'm waiting to get to the, the showing you guys the distressing. Like we're going to do that together because it's going to be fun. I'm happy that I figured out a process. You guys know how happy I was to figure that out. But um, yeah, yeah. While I'm waiting, I did wash these and I scraped off. Um, I did scrape off the, the paint, but I'm wondering like if I should do more because it is going into a clinic. 
let's take a little of the paste. Where is my paste? My polish. Am I out of polish? Shoot. It might be out of polish. Dang it. Just gonna try a little bit on a corner here. See what happens. gonna be br it's brass it's like pretty brass bright brass see it I don't know that that's gonna be what she wants to clean them. I kind of have to do it now. It's weirding me out how freaking icky it was. You can see mm. Well, we done it now. I'm just gonna polish these up real quick because I don't really have a choice. I started now. You know how Bob Ross says like happy little accidents? It ended up as I'm polishing, like it looks more aged, more distressed. It's clean though. I mean, it's smooth now. It's clean. I can, I mean, it's super smooth now. It's been polished. I'm gonna still work on it, but I like seeing the bright pieces of brass popping through. So now I'm like, oh, I like this better. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to polish the whole thing down then it's not gonna look right. Then I'm gonna have to put a black paint on it. And blah, 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 blah. No, looks good now. I mean, it was, it was rough before, but it still like looks distressed. Still looks aged, but I like the little pops of the highlight on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I definitely like the way it feels now. It's very smooth now. So when you're pulling on the drawer, you're not going to be like, hey, it's gritty or it feels dirty. It doesn't feel dirty. It feels nice and polished and smooth because it is polished and smooth. But that was one of those happy little accidents. I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have to polish this whole thing. And then I'm going to hate it and I'm going to put black paint on these and I don't want to put black paint on these, but I've already drilled the holes. So I have, I have to use them. I already drilled the holes.
kind of hard to explain to your customer how it's going to take another week because you have to fill the holes and redrill the holes because you just decided to polish these. Yeah. I'm sure she'd totally understand that. I mean, she's patient, but everybody got a limit, right? Like, everybody got a limit. I would have a limit. And I like seeing the bright on the edges. But leaving some of the patina. So you can see where it looks like it's worn away, where you would be pulling the drawer. Little bright pops on the corners here. Let's do the other one. <laughs> Happy little accidents. I love when stuff comes together like that. Sometimes it doesn't, and then we're screwed. <laughs> then I'm just sitting here going, uh, well, there's no hope for it. Got to refill it. I'll be up till 4 a.m. fixing this. No, nope, today I'm not going to. I'm going to just polish up the other one. Yeah, you can tell I got a table full of crap in front of me. The pens, some chenille, um, pipe cleaners. Yeah, I want to craft. All right, let's look at the difference. Let's see. You can't really tell, can you? Well, yeah, you can. The feeling, the texture feeling is so much different, like... This is smooth. This is like feels dirty. Still, I know I washed it. I mean, I soaked that darn thing, got all the paint off, but this just feels better than this. Looks cute too. I like that. And she likes distressed. So we're going to give her distressed. I'm going to go after this one next. Polish and paint. Polish and paint. That's all I'm going to do. Ooh, it's already polishing back. You can get a lot of polish on there and it's already starting to look better. Alright. I'm just going to go polish. It's time to distress. My husband gave me some 600 grit sandpaper and we are going to we're going to start distressing the tall cabinet first because the short cabinet, I painted the sides again. So that one's got to wait a minute, but this one, we're ready. So I've already started a little bit here. And this 600 grit is keeping me from busting through like all the way down to the clear coat. So it's starting to break through. So the whole rest of my day is going to be sanding and then we will get some of the marker on there and then we will glaze over the top. But, oh, it's so smooth. This is what they use on automotive paints um, to make the, the clear coat really, really smooth. You can tell. This feels like silk. Oh, feels nice. And this is where we're at now. So you can see they have just popped through. Some places are a little whiter than others, but that's the, um, that's the faux wood under there. This is white. Got a little heavy handed there, but, um, I'm going to continue doing the whole cabinet. You can see a little white comes through here too. I'm going to do the whole cabinet front and back here. I got out of these. Oh, too much dust. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll put the color on that and glaze and we'll we'll fix that all up. But I got to do the rest of it first. Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. All right, so here we go. I've started. Um, I'm going to just color that on and then I move it around and it starts to blend in. That's step one, is we're going to color all the white parts. So all the stuff that you see that's white. I've got maple and walnut, so I'll be adjusting the colors here and there. This is where the art project comes in, so I've got, you know, a little white there. And then I just use my finger and spread it out. A little white up there. Spread it out. All right. 
So that's the process. We're gonna trust the process. This I've done really most of it, but you see a little piece of white there. So we're gonna fill it in. And I'm gonna do the whole thing. I've already started on the side and the front, and I'm just gonna keep going. Well, this is what happens to your fingers when you don't wear gloves and you're using God's greatest tool to spread out the ink and stuff. Um, it's inked. This is distressed and inked. And then uh, the glaze will be last. But I did the drawer. The drawer front. And now it'll be this piece, which I'm going to let dry for a little bit longer. Just because I gave it the extra coats of paint on the side, they're still a little sticky. So is the inside of this drawer, which I gave another coat to. But we're going to let that sit for a minute. I'm going to go get cleaned up because I have a hair appointment today. So, like, I got to go get a haircut. Thanksgiving's coming and this ain't pretty. I'm saying. <laughs> well, let's hope they don't butch me. Ugh. I have wicked anxiety about hair appointments. Anyway, I'm going to go get cleaned up and get changed, but um, I'm going to let this sort of, let the ink get good and dry before we glaze the top of it. I still have to cut it back for it. It's still in the car. And I have to deal with those silver feet. Still haven't done that either. Little, little things, little things, little things. The little annoying things, like the feet and this. It'll get done. It's going to get done. Got my haircut. And I'm back. Anyway. Literally spent days, hours and hours and hours and hours painting this so it was perfect. So I could sand it all away and make holes all over it. I'm not going to lie. I am legitimately pretending that this is all going to work out. Because I have no idea if it's going to work out. Um... It's freaking me out a little bit because, I mean, we've done the chair. It's just, ugh. I every time I get to this point where you're seeing, like, all the frosting, that's what I call it, frosting of the paint where you've sanded away, it freaks me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So this, you know, it, it freaks me out. So I, I think if you're ever going through distressing like a dark color like this or semi-gloss paint like this and you're you're to this stage, it, it's scary. Not gonna lie, it is scary because you can't leave it like that. You can't leave the frosting. <laughs> and every time I do this, I'm like, oh my god. I hope it's gonna work out. And somehow it does work out because the glaze seems to take care of the frosting part. I hope. I hope. See, doubt. Doubt is part of everybody's life. So if you're thinking, ah, oh, she never worries or doubts about it. No, no, it's not true. I totally doubt what I'm doing. Hmm. It's gonna be another day of it because right now my shoulder hurts like so bad from sanding hand sanding this whole thing I have the top of this one done and one of the drawers this whole cabinet's been sanded and markered this one has not been markered I I can't sand anymore I need to go put a massager on my shoulder and just and my hand hurts I washed my hands before I went and got my hair done and I'm all, I'm all inky again. 
Um, you know what? It would not be the same if I was wearing a glove. You know, I thought about it, but it would not be the same. But this is the ugly stage. This is the part where I start doubting that this is going to come out. And that I'm going to have to repaint the whole thing and tell her I can't do it and apologize profusely. And what was I thinking? And why would I even take this on? And, you know, doubt. But we know, we know from experience that this is going to come out. The chair came out beautifully, right? So we're going to just, I did a test patch up here and it turned out beautifully right here, right? This, this one, right there, that spot. I did this already on this and still, and still there's, there's a part of my brain going, ah, this is looking, it looks terrible. It's, oh my God, what have I done? Somehow it all works out. We need to just go pet a cow now. I need to go pet a cow. <laughs> I'm going to take some time for me. I have those little hairs that are stabbing me. I'm sanding away and the little hairs are stabbing me in, in my back of my neck from the shirt. So I need to go take a shower and get, get all this hair off my neck. But thanks for watching you guys. Back at it tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow is the very last day with this piece. If not... It'll be Sunday, but I'm hoping tomorrow's the very last day with this piece. Thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.